So we're switching back to cricket on the Sportsmax Zone. Round two of the Western East Championship set to ball off on Ash Wednesday with four matches. Gerard Morris-Sealy relives the high points of round one as he looks ahead to round two. None of the West Indies test batsmen stood out, but there were two centurions. 37-year-old Jason Mohammed scored an even 100 on the only day of play possible between the Red Force and defending champions Harpy Eagles, his 12th in regional four-day cricket. While 20-year-old Kevin Wickham produced a masterful innings, leading Barbados pride in their first innings, 341 for 9 declared, with 139 versus combined campuses and colleges. Three bowlers also stood out with five wicket hauls. Two pacers, Kittishan Jeremiah Louis of the Leeward Islands Hurricanes and Grenadian Ryan John playing for the Windward Islands Volcanoes. Louis grabbed 5 for 29 to help dismiss West Indies Academy in their first innings, while John took 5 for 43 to dismiss a struggling Jamaica Scorpions team. While Barbadian spinner Shem Hoda bagged a second innings 5 for 69 as a pride comfortably beat CCC by 9 wickets. The second round sees two of the first round winners against each other in Jamaica. Barbados Pride versus Windward Islands Volcanoes, and uh, both teams say they're ready for the clash. We're just going to focus on our, you know, our game and ensure that you know we are, you know, doing the basics for a long period of time, creating pressure when it matters, you know, and then the end results will take care of itself. We can't get complacent as a team. It's just one game we win. Like I say, we want to strive to be consistent, and in being consistent, we want to do the simple things for longer periods of time, both with the bat, ball, and in the field. So I urge you guys, you know, to keep trusting the process and the results will take care of itself. Combined campuses and colleges will play against the Scorpions, who are now winless in 13 straight regional matches across both formats, but their skipper, Jermaine Blackwood, is not concerned with the stack. We always have the bowlers to, to get us 20 wickets, so it's just us as, as batters have to just come and put the roads, runs on the board and, and let the bowlers come and, and, and do their thing. The other matches pit the Leeward Islands Hurricanes against Guyana Harpy Eagles, while Trinidad and Tobago Red Force face off with West Indies Academy. Both matches will be played in St. Kitts and Anivis. Yeah, the, the first at one apart and the second game will be played at Connery and hopefully we'll have a lot more cricket uh, than we did in the opening round. Two results in Jamaica for the first round lands the Volcanoes beating the Scorpions and of course the Pride despite losing an entire day um, to a waterlogged field, um, defeating the combined campuses and colleges. And so here we are, ready for round number two. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the updates when we come back to the Sportsmax Zone on Thursday because uh, Ash Wednesday, a public holiday in Jamaica, no Sportsmax Zone on Wednesday. But uh, don't forget, as we had mentioned in the previous segment, you can look out for full coverage of Champions League football with uh, PSG and Kylian Mbappe in action. But yeah, um, a good start to the, to the tournament for some of the team. Disappointment for the TNT Red Force and their game that was washed out in St. Kitts. Hopefully they can get some better weather and, and have something more fruitful for them because they were shaping up well at 215 for four, the, the Red Force. Um, so we're looking forward to these four matches starting tomorrow. Yeah, very much the case. And I was extremely impressed with what the Winwood Islands Volcanoes um, did against the Jamaica Scorpions. Now, mind you, the Scorpions have been poor in regional four-day cricket for a little bit now. And definitely they were terrible last season and they have started this campaign the same. But the type of discipline I saw from the Volcanoes, I thought, was impressive. The discipline they showed with the ball, the discipline they showed when they got their opportunity to bat as well, to try and essentially bat Jamaica as far out of the game as possible. And I thought they were really good at Sabina Park. It sets up a fabulous second round clash with Barbados Pride at Kensington Park. I think, if anything, that Pride versus Volcanoes match deserves to be at Sabina Park at what I would consider to be, the, let's just say, the more established yeah. venue. Yeah. Um, because I, I think a lot of quality will be be on display there um, so yeah great cricket to look forward to um, this week and of course as Lance pointed out we will have um, roundups following each day's play right here on the sports mag zone yeah and um, I agree with you that that pride volcanoes game is uh, to me the match of the round and um, would be more fitting at, at Sabina Park but let's see how those two teams match up against each other 
And as I just referenced, the Red Force and Harpy Eagles, Harpy Eagles, the defending champions, having missed out on, uh, uh, well, enough cricket, enough to get a result from their opening game, will we'll have something better coming for them over the next four days. Yeah. Yeah, break time. We'll be back with more on the Sports Night Zone after this.